Want to see what happens when you miss choice day for your Ipsy slash BoxyCharm? Then stay tuned and we've got another giveaway today. Hi and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. Chloe and Bandit, Bandit aren't with me this evening, but if you're new, thanks so much for stopping by. We hope you decide to stay. And if you're returning, thank you so much for being a part of our YouTube family and our journey. So I missed Choice Day for BoxyCharm by Ipsy. I don't know how. It was on a Saturday. I shouldn't have missed it, but I did. I realized on Monday and it was too late at that point. So I got this, first of all, tiny box. Here is your sneak peek. It's very underwhelming. BoxyCharm by Ipsy is monthly, although you can pause. I did pause Chloe's account for this month because I wasn't even excited about the spoilers and I almost paused mine too and I probably should have, but I didn't. And so here's where we're at. Um, you do get to see like what you're gonna get. You do get it on your Ipsy app so you know everything. And typically after you, on choice day, they'll show you the two items that they chose for you and then you'll have your three choice categories. And of course I missed that so Okay, here's where we are. What is their theme? I don't know. You're the main attraction, maybe? I'm not really sure. Here is a picture of their power picks. And really nothing in here interested me. None of these picks I either already had or they didn't interest me. The REM palettes didn't really interest me. Uh, the Il Maquillage ones didn't interest me, so I probably should have trusted my gut and skipped. But again, here's where we are. As far as the Mega Drop shop, it is going to be starting on January 8th through the 21st. If you get Ipsy or BoxyCharm by Ipsy, that's when that will be. I do, I will tell you, I have not been as, as impressed. BoxyCharm had some great prices. It is more expensive, I find. I got palettes for like $7 that just aren't this, and the same palettes they're offering now for much more. So I don't know. I haven't been as impressed. I do miss the old box of charm. I am going to tell you that this right here is definitely an Ipsy box. It is not a boxy charm box for me, at least from what I used to get. Maybe things that excite some of you guys. First of all, the whole value itself is not as high as it usually is. The highest thing is just my boost. Everything else is is really around the $30 range. So not a very high value. I'm going to tell you if I saw this box at Sephora or Ulta for $30, I would pass. So that's just my opinion though of this box based upon what I like to get in a box. Now this may be a great box for some of you guys, but based upon what I like to get, there's only a couple of items really that I'm excited about. One is actually a repeat from my daughter's box last month. So again, all right, but what did I get? So I got some brushes from Ace Beauté and they're very lovely. They're a nice like cranberry color. They are face brushes. I kind of have a ton of brushes right now, so I'm gonna set these aside. I'm not gonna open them and touch them. This is a $28 value for these three brushes, which isn't a bad price. I've never used their brushes, so I can't tell you if they're very good or not. Um, I wasn't too bummed about this. I just don't really need these. The second item that they chose for me, as far as the two items they had already chosen for me, is this by Rosie Jane perfume. This is the signature. This is the Rosie by Rosie Jane perfume. So it's their signature scent. It, I do have this. It has a warm musk and a sweet vanilla scent. So here is how it looks. It says on there, it smells like your birthday suit. I'm not really sure what that means. I mean, it smelled like my birthday cake. I would know what that means, but I'm not really sure what that means. I do have this though. So I am going to gift this perfume is one of those things that's harder to send in the mail. They consider it hazardous. So I will probably gift this to a family member. 
only because I have it, I do like it. I do think it's a nice scent. That is also a $28 value. This is their travel spray. This is a cruelty-free company, and they are female-founded by Rosie Jane Johnston. She's a makeup artist who decided to start her own line of kind of more natural essential oil scents. Next by Element is the Ibiza. This is a double-sided lip duo. So one side is a gloss and the other side is a dusty rose liquid lip. So I'm going to put the picture up here. I don't want to open this up because we got this last month in my daughter's box and it's a very nice product, but we just got the same exact color last month. By Iconic London is their Enrich and Elevate mascara so i'm going to put a picture of the wand up this is the kind of wand i really like in a mascara so i was excited about this this is a 29 dollar value again i didn't choose anything in this box so what i have chosen it depends upon what else was in the options to choose i might have I, I definitely might have this does have a sim lash proprietary complex which is supposed to help strengthen and nourish and encourage growth for lashes. Now, I don't know if that works or not. I have tried Iconics mascara. They do make a very nice mascara. The fifth item that they chose for me is by Il Maquillage, and this is a $48 value. Now, this is a cruelty-free brand, and it's a very nice, I mean, it's very, very gorgeously packaged. All right, so that is wonderful, wonderful colors. If you are into naturals, this is going to be a great palette. Not naturals, neutrals. Neutrals. And my uh, boost, which is the sixth item in there for an extra $15, is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their Brow Genius. This is a $65 value. It does claim that it helps if you consistently use it. After I think it's 30 or 60 days, you'll start to notice some regrowth. I am using one right now at home, but as far as using it consistently, when I'm at my mom's, I don't have it, so I don't use it here. Uh, I don't know if I have something else here that I don't think I do. I actually think I recently got this, though, and was going to start using it here. I'm not 100% sure. This does have some red ginseng and some panthenol in there, which is what they claim helps encourage the new growth. So that is my box. It is not an exciting box for me. Now that doesn't mean the products in here aren't nice. They're just either things that I would not have chosen myself or um, don't really need you know, additional ones of. So for today's giveaway, I am going to include the Il Maquillage Quad Palette. Again, this is a $48 value and these brushes, which is a $28 value. So this is what you're going to get in today's giveaway if you are the winner. So how do you participate? All the rules are down below. It tells you, I could go over them all and we could make this a 30 minute video, or you can just check down there, make sure you qualify. You do have to be publicly subscribed and check out everything else that you need to be. And make sure you are hitting that like, subscribe and notification bell to enter these giveaways, and hopefully I'll see you soon.